All right, so uh, voiceover Mitch back in the building, hitting the charity shops today. Um, yeah, this is normally my route that I take every Friday after work. I finish work at 12 o'clock on a Friday, so I have a couple of hours to kill. Um, but yeah, in this charity shop, not too much. A couple of Skylanders. A Lord of the Rings book look kind of cool, but, but not too much. Um, yeah, second charity shop here. Again, nothing here, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, you've got your obligatory FIFAs there. Um, <laughs> FIFAs where, uh, sorry, charity shops is where FIFAs go to die. Always got to look in the Blu rays. I'm finding that I'm having more luck with Blu rays than uh, games at charity shops now. Um, yeah, th this charity shop is one of the uh, ones that actually let me into the holy grail of, of the back room. A uh, couple of games here, but nothing I need for my collection. Um, you know, I'd rather leave them there for someone who needs them for their collection you know rather than just buying them for the sake of it but yeah like i said nothing there unfortunately as you can see though this back room is absolutely stacked with dvds blu-rays i've uh, got a ds game i think brain training hiding in there some records down there as well um and i come here every week and you know a lot of these are still here and they've got i think they sell dvds for maybe 50p or a pound each and i just think you know, if you've got a back room filled with dvds and cds just sell them for 10p each get them gone what's the point of having them sat out there doing nothing i suppose that's a, a conversation for another day <laughs> but yeah um nothing here on this occasion unfortunately had a few scores in here but but not today next uh, charity shop checking this guitar hero um because in some sometimes there's the dongle inside the cases and those dongles can go for quite a bit of money so keep an eye out for them but yeah british half foundation always expensive i think that was five pound for shadow of mordor which i think cex sell it for, for around about that price but again always check the blu-rays um i've got two uh blu-rays from here about a week or so ago v the original uh, series from like 1987 i think they're worth about 20 pound each something like that um yeah i think i paid a fiver for both of them so do do uh check out the um the blu-ray section again cool to see these simpson box sets but i think they're four or five quid each which is uh extortion <laughs> i don't even think cex sell them for that um but yeah been, been watching a lot of b rad lately and i know he uh check always checks like the the manga section and stuff like that so i do have a look at the books down at the bottom there in a minute cool to see plays on playstation 3 on that uh, i think it's gone in 60 seconds but yeah like i was saying I, I, I do check the comics and the manga i think there's 2000 ad the ultimate collection i think they were priced at about four or five quid each which um maybe they're worth a tenner each something like that but not really worth unless you collect them not really worth anything to to flip on unfortunately Had a look in the local CEX, um, always pop in here to see if you know there's anything, especially like you know, class is unboxed, um, but it has got a box or whatever. Very expensive uh, N64 game there, never seen it before, I think it was in for £595. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't have the manual. This is a CEX Basildon, and they're one of the few ones where they actually put on the, um, on the games whether it's got the label or not, in, in the window at least. Uh, yeah, next charity shop here. Unfortunately, not much. A couple of sealed ones. They always keep an eye out for sealed DVDs. Some of them do tend to have a bit of value. Again, yeah, not much. I think this one is. I think they do free, free, yeah, free DVDs for like a pound, which is one of the cheaper ones. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing in here either. I think this. Um, yeah, that's how I met your mother. I think that trades in for like seven pound, and they're selling. Excuse me, and they're selling it for six pound fifty. So, yeah, I mean it's pretty bang on with. I mean, if if charity shops are going to sell DVDs and Blu-rays, I think that that's that's a good price range for them to be around. You know, what CEX trade in for? They should be selling it for. So, you know, it kind of you know, although I'm in here looking for stuff to to flip, it kind of discourages, you know flippers should we say resellers but still gives people the opportunity to to get something for cheap but um yeah never seen this film before king of comedy i think i might watch that as uh, i do like martin scorsese but again nothing here unfortunately so not, not not been a good day so far always check the kids section the amount of times i've found 
you know, games hidden away in here where people, you know, they get confused with the artwork and think it's a DVD rather than a game. <laughs> I'm cooking my words out there. But yeah, managed to get a half decent pickup in here, which you'll see in a moment. I do get a better, some better footage of it. Yeah, I think they had three pound on this gun. I've heard this is a good game, but um, yeah, three pound. I think you can get it out of CEX for two pound fifty, so a bit overpriced. But again, this is a, another British Heart Foundation. But yeah, th this was the good pickup. Um, Falling Skies, the complete collection. I do have some better footage of it in a moment. But yeah, I think they uh, they had four pound on it. I think CEX sell it for maybe £25. This, this is just the DVD version as well. I think the Blu ray is a bit more than that. But um, yeah, so I grabbed that for, for £4, which you, you'll see after the footage. But yeah, a couple more PlayStation games were unfortunately priced a little bit high. This charity shop, I think this is a Mind, Mind UK one. So expensive. Got Need for Speed on the run there. I think that's £3.50 in CEX, and they're charging £4 for it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually got anything out of this charity shop. We'll still go in there and have a look. I mean, you'll see in a moment that there's a Pokemon tin up here. I think they've got like three or four pound on a tin. <laughs> I mean, you tell me. I don't really know too much about Pokemon, but is it worth that? A uh, couple of DVDs here, but nothing worth grabbing. Top quality film there, Alvin and the Chipmunks. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. Um, but yeah, not too much else in terms of... Yeah, to pick up and either you know trade in or flip on. I'm trying to learn more about toys. I watch Ian Master of Pieces and he's always grabbing toys and you know for like next to nothing and they're worth 12, 15 quid each. But I just don't know anything about them. I need to do a bit more research really. Another Pokemon tin there. Another top quality film there. Uh, what else do we get? Checking the kids section. I don't. I, I, I check the kids section for you know like I said I watch other other tubers and. You know, if I see that they pick something up like teddies and stuff like that, I do do try and what's the word? Keep an eye out for it. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit there and you know look things up in the sh in the shop. WWE, I did I did uh, have a quick look at that after this, this footage. I think they had ten pound on it. I think it's worth about that. Again, these Thomas Tank engine toys, I think six pound fifty each, which I think is quite extortionate but yeah whether or not they're worth that I don't know some more uh, DVDs here Shrek the complete story of which I think there's like four uh, four discs in it that's actually worth keeping an eye out for I think it trades in for like four or five pound fortunately that was just the uh, first three so it's not worth too much nothing on this rail here as well did look at the blu-rays around the back after um, but nothing there worth trading in unfortunately And yeah, I think this may be the last uh, charity shop of the day. There is a couple of the Barbie um, and Disney ones to keep an eye out for on the Wii. Unfortunately, that wasn't one of them. Same with the Just Dance. I think that's the first one, so it's not worth too much money. It's the later editions that you want. Um, yeah, always watching B-Rad. He's the one who put me on to you know, check for Wii Sports in the old uh, Wii Fit cases. Unfortunately, nothing on this occasion. I think what was there one more FIFA in here. Again, you know, charity shops are where FIFA go to die. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't think that was too much. A couple of box sets down here, I think. Um, I mean, this charity shop's the one where I probably had my best, uh, yeah, best charity shop score. I did do a video on it. I've got a load of GameCube games, uh, Wii and stuff like that. But, but since then, nothing else. And we are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I'm in the game, my channel's buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, any electric items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace, or charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CEX at a high price so I can build my own gaming collection. So yes, back with a charity shop video today. Um, apologies that the videos are few and far between at the moment, but Obviously this time of year, boot sales are not on and I'm just very, very busy at the minute. Um, obviously, you know, Christmas is coming up, friends, family, everyone wants to see, uh, and, uh, you know, the weekends are just very, very busy and I just haven't had time to, to get out and game hunt as much as I want, um, unfortunately. But 
what I have what I have been doing, um, and as you see in the footage, is every Friday I, I I do the rounds in my local charity shops. And the past couple of times that I've went, I have managed to get a few bits. And I thought, do you know what? I'll start taking my GoPro with me, and uh, you know, trying to catch some of it on footage because I did, in the past I've tried, you know, cap capturing. Um, going into charity shops and filming sort of thing, but I do I do still feel a bit nervy about filming in charity shops just because it is, you know, people's place of work and they might not necessarily want to, um, you know, be filmed whilst they're working or volunteering, should we say. So I don't really, don't really want to be catching people on film and stuff like that. So I do try and, you know, be as inconspicuous as I can. Is that the right word? Inconspicuous? I believe so. Um, so obviously that's why the footage is, you know, it can be a little bit short here and there, but... Unfortunately, on this occasion, I didn't manage to get too much, um, which, you know, just, it's, it's sod's law, basically. The one time that I try and film it, I don't really get too much. But I'm going to continue to do this every Friday, and hopefully um, I'll get some more uh, pickups for you on camera sort of thing, just to, to tide us over until uh, at least January. I, I do have some hard-standing boot sales to go to, but... Um, I just haven't even had time to go to them because of how, how busy it is this time of year. Um, so yeah, as you can see from the footage, obviously I've done my voice over. I was giving you my thoughts and uh, uh, everything else in that moment. I did manage to get these two oh, and, and this as well. So I've got, I only managed to pick this up, obviously this week, but these were the two that I got last week, which I wish I caught on camera because these are, are really, really good. Um, but yeah, f first one that I've got is Falling Skies, the complete series. It says from executive producer Steven uh, Spielberg, and I must admit, I haven't seen this. So they're all there. Um, obviously, I checked in the, um, in the charity shop. Is it a good series? I think I'm going to watch it before um, I, I pass it on. Now, I, can, I paid £4 for this, and I can trade it in. Uh, to CX for £12, but like I said, I've seen it on eBay for £20, £25, um, and there's not too many of them on there, because uh, obviously this is the complete, I think there's like a box set which is seasons one to three and stuff like that, so I think I'm going to try and sell it on eBay to start with, see how that goes, and, and if it doesn't, then I can always look to, to trade it in and, and still triple my money um, later on down the line. Now, that brings me on to you know, a frustration of mine with obviously going to charity shops and stuff like that. I mean, the, the cost of living crisis is hitting everyone. Inflation, obviously, as you know, is, is out of control. And the two or three places that I go to on a Friday, they've all raised their parking now. So you everywhere used to be like a pound, but now they're all charging two pounds and stuff like that. And, you know, so although, yes, I'm, I'm going to be tripling my money on this if I trade it into CX, I've paid like £5.50 parking today. So it's kind of counterproductive to, you know, go to, to all these places and look for stuff because I, I've really got to find, you know, a lot of stuff to make it worthwhile. And obviously I'm not a full-time reseller. I'm not going to look through clothes and stuff like that. Maybe that's what I should be doing, but I'm not going to. Um, so it's, it's, it's difficult. It's kind of, which is a shame really. It's putting me off going to the high street or especially the places where, uh, you've got to pay to park, but let me know. You know, you you having the same experience um, where you live in that a lot of places are raising the uh, pricing for parking and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's it's a, a real real shame. But I did manage to get these two last week, or like three, should I say? Um, but yeah, this was or is sorry. So I got V, the original miniseries, and V, the final battle. Now there's two discs in there, which is part one and two and three, and just the one. Oh, that's from where I was taking photos of it. Turn that around. Uh, v, the miniseries there, um, which is one disc. Now, I paid, I think one was for £3 and one was for £2. I think, yeah, like classic charity shop pricing, I think, because this one had two discs in it, they charged three quid for that one, and this one's only got one disc in there, so they charged two quid for that. So I paid a fiver for these. Um, I've had a look on eBay, and they're, they have sold for... Up, upwards to thirty pound each. Um, I put, I think I put this one on for twenty five pound and this one for thirty pound. Um, I've had a couple of cheeky offers at like eighteen, nineteen pound for each of them, which I've I've not back for now because it's only been up for a week and I'm not in a rush to sell them. But obviously, you know, two, three weeks go past and they're not selling at that price, and someone sends me an offer, um, I'll accept it. But yeah, five pound there, hopefully into like forty pound at least. Um, and then, yeah, this, this is a really good find. Uh, got Action Replay Max, the ultimate cheat system. Now, 
This one, I believe, is worth looking out for because some of them, they come with cables and or you have to have a memory, the memory card with them and obviously over time they get lost. But I believe this was one of the later ones. This was 2006 um, and basically it's just the CD and then obviously you need your own PlayStation 2 uh, memory, memory card, which obviously I've got tons of them. Um, but it's all in there. Paid a pound for this. Um, does smell a bit smoky should we say but um i've tested it I've, i think i tested it on god of war i'm playing that at the moment on the playstation 2 and you can put like slow motion max health max everything you know i mean you can make yourself um invincible if you want and stuff like that and obviously there's there's fa i think thousands of games on there i think uh, maybe i'm exaggerating a couple of hundred games but um yeah that uh what's the word if I wanted to sell that on eBay, I've seen that one go for like 35 to 40 pounds, and obviously I paid a pound for that. So really good find, but I'm gonna keep that in my collection. Obviously it was over here uh, on the shelf and I'll, I'll put it where it is, because it's kind of cool to have. And like I saying, you don't need the special memory card and stuff like that. So really good pickup. Um, I'll try to continue doing these every Friday. Um, Obviously, if I don't get anything, I mean, you let me know. Do you, are you interested in me, you know, watching footage of me going around charity shops even if I don't find anything, or are you only interested in what I pick up? Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments. But, yeah, that was it in terms of uh, what I got today. Semi-successful in that I got, you know, one thing, but because of the parking, and obviously that I don't take into consideration um, petrol and stuff like that. It's probably not worthwhile doing it in terms of making money, but obviously I do enjoy the hunt. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's it in terms of the charity shop uh, pickups. Now, I don't know if you remember um, in my last video, I said I'm gonna do you know games room of the week, games room of the month, whatever, depending on uh, the the feedback that I get from it. And I have had a couple of people reach out to me. Uh, so I'm gonna do the first one now. Um, it's a guy called Dan, shout out to Dan. Um, he hasn't got a channel or uh, an Instagram page that he wants to um, promote. He just uh, wanting to, you know, let everyone see his games room. And obviously, I'll try not to give too much away if it. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll go let you watch the footage. But um, he's Game Boy Mad, and there is or Game Boy Game, should I say? And uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's really cool how he's displayed it. But I'll put the footage on now, and um, yeah, you can let me know what you think of it. So yes. Is Dan's game room, and as you can see, first thing jumping out at you is all of these Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color games, uh, should I say, on the wall. Um, I think this is a really good way to display them. I've never seen it before. Um, basically, what he's done is put them in the box protectors and obviously stuck those box protectors to the wall. Um, yeah, I think it looks really good. It's a good way of displaying them. I mean, I have trouble um, displaying my games on one shelf so this is a good way of displaying them all and yeah there's some really good games i mean i didn't even know they'd done uh, grand theft auto on the uh the game boy there so cool to see haven't got a clue of uh any of the prices of these games i mean you guys can probably let me know in the comments is there some standout ones some high uh, or big hitters should we say need for super most wanted there i sold that on the xbox 360 for about 40 pounds not too long ago so i wonder if that's worth uh a bit of money on there. Was that, was that uh, Austin Powers at the bottom there? But yeah, it's more games. I mean, look, you tell me, have you, have you seen someone display the, the games on the wall like that? Obviously got the uh, the Game Boy uh, consoles box there. I think there's the Pikachu one there that I've got um, boxed as well. It's a really, really cool. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite inspiring, to be honest. I think, you know, if I ever did go down the route of looking for or looking to get more Game Boy games, it's definitely a way that I would look to display them. But yeah, let me know in the comments, is uh, is this something you've seen before you or you would do? Or uh, or if if you wouldn't do it, maybe tell Dan why he shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> but yeah, really, really, really cool. And then we've got toys and... I mean, Voltaire, got some, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, some of this stuff, I'm not even sure what it is. I think you've got a load of uh, guides up there, some Amiibos. Uh, yeah, Fallout there. What else we got? Oh, oh yeah, that, I remember watching this before. So Dan's, like myself, um, light gun collector. He's got a lot more than me, though. <laughs> he's collecting them, obviously, on, I think, the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 there. I think he's also got some third-party variants as well. I uh, can also see... 
his PlayStation 1 collection there. I'm watching this in preview mode as I'm doing the voiceover, so a bit hard for me to see the, the titles. I think that, is that the Metal Gear Solid double pack there as well? It's cool to see, because <laughs> I've seen a few people moaning on the CEX Retro Watch that, you know, they've bought it from CEX and it's literally just the two games turn up without the, the cardboard sleeve. And then, yeah, I've got uh, GameCube games here, Wii games here. And then, yeah, this is uh, cool to see. You've got the Metal Gear Solid HD collection on the Xbox 360 there. Some more Metal Gear Solid memorabilia. WrestleMania. I must admit, that's wrestling, that's one thing that passed me by as a kid. I was never interested in it, and I know a lot of people are, but yeah, just never really been into it. Obviously, you can see that, that Danny has got a big, big wrestling uh, collection there. More boxed PlayStation stuff up here. Got some, what's that, Pokemon Stadium there, more Game Boys. Uh, that's cool to see, the Resident Evil, I always pronounce it wrong, AC, ASI, uh, pad. That's something that I would like to add to my collection in the future. PlayStation 2 games here. I think he's, uh, 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 I'm trying to look if they're in, uh, I think they're in alphabetical order, so he's not like me. He he does put some thought behind it where they're uh, stored on the shelf. Me, they just go there which I know is a trigger with some people. A few Mega Drive games here. I would think he's also got one of those uh, Exploder cheat pack things just there as well, if you can see that. Well, I was literally just going over in my video. Some more Pokemon stuff, Mortal Kombat as well. That's another franchise that uh, people have got a lot of love for, but, but I haven't. But yeah, really, really good uh, games room. Yeah, as you can see, really, really cool uh, games room. For me, the standout of that obviously was the all of the Game Boy games on the wall. I, you know, that's not a concept of, or an idea that I've ever seen before. Obviously, he has them in the um, box protectors and then sticks them to the wall, and it just looks really, really good. It's a really good way of displaying them, and it look, the artwork on them looks amazing on the wall. So yeah, re really happy with that. And then I've, for for myself. The light, light, um, the light guns boxes that he's got. Obviously, he's gone one above me, and uh, he's getting them on, you know, PlayStation Two and Three and stuff like that. I've only got the PlayStation um, One variants at the moment. He did send me a picture recently after he'd videoed this, and he's got the other point blank one to add to that as well. So, really, really nice collection. Um, lots of standout items in there. So, yeah, if if you'd like to feature your games room. Uh, in one of my videos, hit me up on Instagram. I've got a couple of other people after this, um, hopefully that I can upload as well. So there is a bit of a queue uh, accumulating. But you know, if you'd like to join that and show off your games room, let me know. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.